Hello, my name is Mike with Cramfighter, and today I'm going to show you how to create a four-month USMLE study schedule using our service. Cramfighter is a tool that medical students use to prepare for the boards and figure out what they need to do each day. Cramfighter is available for a seven-day free trial at cramfighter.com, so you can take it for a spin yourself. There's no credit card required. Um, and we also offer Excel and PDF sample schedules uh, that you can use for inspiration when you're creating your own personalized schedule. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you our four-month sample schedule um, in Excel. And you can see at the top we've got Pathoma, First Aid, and UWorld listed as resources. When you choose your resources in Cramfighter, you'll have the ability to select from hundreds of resources. So if you're using a different lecture series or would like to add a supplemental resource or something like that, uh, that option will be available to you. So with this schedule, we've got the first eight weeks uh, marked as the date where we're going to finish our first pass through Pathoma and First Aid. And we're going to give these resources another pass. Uh, you can see um, highlighted in yellow here the beginning of our second study block. I'll explain that terminology in just a bit. Um, and then for the last four weeks, we're going to give these resources a third pass. Um, for a total of four months. Um, so with that said, let's get started using Cramfighter. When you log into Cramfighter, the first step will be to choose a standardized exam. We've done that. We're going to choose the USMLE Step 1. We also support the Comlex Level 1, Step 2, Shelf Exams, um, and Step 3. Um, and we'll need to choose an exam date. For our purposes, that's going to be August 10th which is four months away. Once you click Save, uh, you'll be brought to step two where you'll need to edit study block information. Now, study blocks are like mini schedules within your overall schedule. You can use them to go over a resource more than once, or you can use them to create a study period for during classes and a study period uh, for dedicated boards study time. Um, so for this one, we'll just call it study block one, and we'll say that it goes until July 12th. Or excuse me, June 12th. That'll be eight weeks from now, and then we'll create more study blocks later to give those resources a second pass and a third pass. So we'll click save. And then the third step will be to choose catch up days and unscheduled days. Um, I'm going to leave the default. Every second Wednesday, Cramfighter will set aside a day for me to catch up on overdue tasks. I can also add pra practice exams. So I could add an MBME, for instance, on, say, April 30th. And I can also add unscheduled days, like vacation days or free study days. I'll click Save. And in step four, I'll be able to choose my resources. So like we saw, we're going to be working with Pathoma. So we'll search for that and click on Pathoma. And then we'll select all of its videos. So we want to cover the entire resource. Then we'll select First Aid. We're going to use the 2019 edition. We're also going to select all the chapters. Or perhaps in this case, We'll deselect the first two and click save. And then we'll click, we'll search for uh, UWorld. And we'll have the option to add a total number of questions. So we could add 2400 and have Cramfighter divvy up the amount we need to do each day. Or we could hop over the, to this tab and choose how many we want to do every Monday or Tuesday, etc. Um, but in our case, I'm going to select 2,400 total questions for this study block. And once you're happy with your resources, you can click Continue. The next step will be to choose your sorting options. You'll have the option to go through resources by subject or organ system, um, or, or uh, go through them chronologically, meaning from cover to cover. Um, and in our case, let's go through them by organ system. Um, 
here you'll have the option to rearrange the priority of the subjects you cover. So we could, for instance, say that we want to study the respiratory system second, um, and we can customize this however we like. Once we're happy with that, we'll click Save, and we'll input our study hours. So Cramfighter uses this information to assign a relatively different workload per day. So if I said that I'm going to be working for two hours on Tuesday, Cramfighter would assign half as much work as is assigned on Monday. Um, and here you can also see a stats box which will compare your workload to the student average. Um, and this stats box will be highlighted in orange if you're studying or if your workload is much, much higher than the student average, just to give you a flag um, or a warning that you may have an overly ambitious or overwhelming schedule. Um, but Cramfighter doesn't disallow you from creating these study plans. We just like to give you a signal that, um, that your workload may be more than the average. So once you're happy with that, you can click Save and look at your study block summary. Now remember, in our case, we want to create multiple study blocks. Uh, you could start studying now and then create those later, or you'll have the option to click this button right here on the bottom to add another study block, and that's what we want to do. We want to go from June 13th to July 12th. That's going to be our second pass. We'll leave these settings the same and click Save. And we want to add those resources again. So we'll click Pathoma, select all of its videos, and then we'll add First Aid. And then we'll add UWorld. And maybe this time we want to say, let's do 40 questions every day. We could take a break on Sundays, for instance. And once we're happy with that, we'll choose our sorting options again. Um, you could change the order uh, at any point. So if you've taken a practice test and you found that you need to focus on um, the endocrine system, for instance, you could prioritize um, those chapters and videos to come first. And you can click Save. And we'll leave our study hours the same. And then we'll have created our second study block. Um, and so now we just have one more to go to get us to our exam date. So we'll click Add Study Block once more. This will be our third. We'll leave these settings the same, and we'll choose those resources one more time. Search for Pathoma, and select all of its lectures. First Aid. and you world. And maybe we, we want to go through this QBank in its entirety once more. Click Continue. We'll have an, another option to rearrange our sorting options. Um, and here you can see that the question count is higher than the student average for that period of time. Um, and I think that this last study block is going to be um, a study block where I'm studying really hard, so I think that that's going to be okay. Um, but if it concerns you, you could always change that. All right, and then you'll review your study block st summary once more. Um, if you're happy, you can click Finish and View Schedule. And you can see in just a few minutes, we've created a four month study plan um, that we can rearrange things with, uh, we can check things off, we can partially complete a task, so if we only read to a certain page number we could keep track of that, um, 
and you'll know exactly what you need to do each day in order to stay on track. Um, Cramfighter keeps track of your overdue tasks, and if you found that you were falling behind, you could work on those overdue tasks on a catch-up day, like I mentioned, or you could use our rebalance feature, which is found here, to automatically redistribute overdue tasks uh, so you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to do any of that manual tinkering uh, with your schedule. You can just focus on studying. And the last thing I'll point out is that there's also a progress page so you can um, check your own stats and keep track of how you're doing on practice tests and things like that. So that about sums it up. That's how you create a four-month schedule with Cramfighter. We hope you give our service a try um, and sign up for our seven-day free trial. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at contact at cramfighter.com.